Hi, I'm Ania Williams, CEO and founder of Tinsel, and I want to talk to you today about our first prototype, which we just got in uh, last week from the factory. We're very excited about it, and as we have shared our journey so far with everyone, we want to continue down that path of transparency and giving you a look into the insider's view of how this product is made from start to finish. Without further ado, let's uh, play around with the dipper a little bit. So as I mentioned, this is not a functioning prototype. It's just a cosmetic one, which means that there are a lot of components here that would affect the way that the product lays, um, affect the weight of the product, uh, affect some of the features of the product that I won't be able to show you today uh, because the components aren't yet put in place for this one. So to start, um, you know, you might be asking, where are the earbuds? Uh, and if you've seen some of our product images, you might have an idea of how that transition works. We basically want to allow a woman to have a necklace that no one can tell is anything other than a necklace until she goes to use it for another purpose. So what we've done is design a pendant that can conceal the earbuds in such a way that when you're just wearing it and you know living your everyday life, that you'll be able to enjoy it without anyone knowing that there's anything inside. And once you're ready, it's very easy to get to them. We have these chevrons, which are hollow. You just lift up the top chevron to take the earbuds out, and you can put them in your ears like this. Um, and then also, when you're ready to listen to your music, there's a cord in the back that will unplug from the back of your necklace, which this one doesn't because it's welded in place, because like I said, it's the cosmetic sample. The extra wire actually is housed in the lowest chevron as well. Um, and you know, you can walk around, listen to your music, put it in your pocket, put it in your purse, and when you're ready to go back to um, you know, just wearing it as a necklace, you can put those pieces right back into the chevron, just as they were and go about your your business. So one of the fun things that I think uh, will be fixed for our future prototype is the ability to access the earbuds and the cord in, a, in an easier way. With what we have with the prototype today, we, we're maybe about 65 to 70 percent of the way there. The weight of it right now is a bit heavy. It's about a half a pound. We made it a really thick pendant when we designed it, but then realized that there's a lot of extra bulk that we can take out. So we're going to slim it down quite a bit. Another thing that we realized in getting this prototype that we thought in the original design would work out perfectly, but in, process, in, in, in real life have noticed that it's a little bit different than we imagined is the placement of the controls where right now these move around uh, in the final product we imagine them being pretty stationary but still very flexible um, but we realize we have more chevrons than we need so some of those will go away we really want to bring down the profile of this and make it as small as possible so we'll be working on reducing some of the sizing there and also, when you go to put it in earbud mode, we figured that it would be better if we made it look like you were wearing a pair of earrings. So we'll be adjusting the height of this um, so that it'll lay a little bit closer to your ear. And also the break of this when it's being bent will feel really nicely and sit very nicely against your shoulders and your collarbone. Um, and also one of the things that we're really excited about is the fit of the earbud. It's very comfortable. We think that uh, Phenom did a really great job with putting together a size that fits a woman's ear and doesn't make her feel like there's something that you know she can't wait to take out. Um, and one of the other things that you also might notice is that it's all gold, but this will have a contrast of silver where some of these chevrons are um, in the middle chevron and the pendant and other fun strategically placed places like you've seen in our designs. Um, and we also will have our gunmetal gray as well, but we are just working with one color right now while we refine the product. So that's a rough overview of the dipper. Um, one of the things that we also wanted to make sure that you guys were able to see is how it might change the design from what we've been sharing in our digital renderings. We're gonna keep improving the product making it better. Most of the changes are only ones that are going to just make it more jewelry-like, make it more comfortable, make it more beautiful, and uh, we're sure that you're going to like them. 
Uh, right now, we have to get ready to send the prototype back to the factory, uh, and it will be used in making the second prototype, which will be fully functional and have some of those other adjustments to it that we just mentioned, which we hope to have in mid-August, and that will get us ready for our crowdfunding campaign on Indiegogo, which we'll be doing in September. And we hope that you will join us in buying your very first Gold Dipper there, and we look forward to it. Thanks for watching.